start relocating or Haneze on demolition of Igbo populated markets in Lagos. Exactly. Start relocating to back to Igbo land or to other states in the country. Start relocating. Get out of Lagos. They don't want you. Unfortunately, a lot of Igbos will not even agree. After all, when the house has started doing that to the Igbos in Kano, rather than locating, they carried gone and fought the Yorubas, the house has to stand still. And very soon, the Yorubas will see that the Igbos don't joke. When the fight will start, I know that they will want to use federal might and the police and the army to go after them. But when the fight will start, they will see what it is. Let the Igbos leave Lagos. That is it. So, Hanese has spoken. Guys, start relocating. Come back to Southeast. They will, whatever you are selling, people will come all, from all over the country. They will come to Southeast to buy it. That is it. People are saying that uh, the Igbo land is a landlocked area and there's no way goods can come there. Who told you? They will use cargo plane to bring their goods there, whether we like it or not. Okay, Chiku Isi Guzoro, a prominent figure in the Ohanes in Igbo, the Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, stated on Saturday that it is now the opportune moment for the Igbos to start slowly withdrawing and refocusing their businesses back to the southeast. Isi Guzoro was reacting to a circulated online video of helpless Igbo traders at the Trinity Spare Pass market in Abapa, Lagos, on February 1st, 2024. Okay, lamenting over their inability to salvage their goods and products while describing the situation as disheartening, Isigudoro said the organization, or rather, the organization was meticulously documenting the systematic demolition of Igbo populated markets in Lagos State, adding that the body is closely observing the distinct pattern of these demolitions. A statement by the factional secretary general of Hanese decried the use of state machinery against peaceful Igbo traders in Lagos State. According to Isiguduro, in light of this distressing event, Igbo must acknowledge that it is now time to gradually retreat and redirect their businesses back home. The factional secretary general um, urged President Bola Tinubu and Governor Babajide Sumolu of Lagos State to urgently intervene and stop future demolition, he added. The relentless targeting of Igbo traders and their businesses under the guise of development is unacceptable. Hanez and Igbo implores Igbo traders to relocate the headquarters of their businesses to Igbo land to avoid further complications arising from future market uh, demolition. We fervently urge President Tinubu and the Governor of Lagos State to demonstrate true leadership by intervening decisively to, to protect the rights and the interests of all citizens, regardless of their ethnicity. That is what I say now. They are systematically pursuing Igbos out of Lagos. They don't know that if, once Igbos leave Lagos, they can't do what the Igbos are doing. Everybody has its role in serving humanity. The role of the Igbos is to provide the basic things that, that other people cannot provide for themselves. They will source it and bring it closer to your doorstep. If Igbos leave Lagos, they will hear it. That is the truth. Now they will start leaving. They will start packing their things out. They will start relocating their things. Anybody that does not have anything at home will suffer. Now the way it is, of course, they don't know that if, if a woman to have one store in Lagos, he has about four or five in other states or back in Southeast, or even abroad. They don't know. You born one, they will recover it from the rest. So, and your grandma does not have anything. They are just making noise. So, that the way it is now, now the Igbos are now telling them, come back home. And that now they will start developing themselves. They will start putting things in place, and they will start doing their own thing. That is exactly what will happen. Yeah? How can you be targeting all the Igbo businesses in Lagos? And you think what the Igbos are doing, any other tribe can do it? No. No other tribe can do what the Igbos are doing. And the Igbos still cannot do what other tribes are doing as well. So the area they are good in, you are destroying it. And once they leave, you will not provide that same service to yourself. Who are you undoing? It is yourself. That is it. It is yourself. It's a very bad situation, I must tell you the truth. As I always say, they will not hear. Igbos should learn from Nigui people. Have you? No, they will came back home. 
it, all the new ways to move their things back home. And now they are, they are trying their best in their place. Yeah? This age, why not make Igbo land safe before asking them to relocate? What do you mean? Yeah? Is Igbo land not safe? Is Lagos safer? Look at what the place you think is safer now. Look at the way it is. Quite unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. So now that the Igbos have started asking their people to come back home, because one that is how we start to, when they say come back home, before you know they start living, they start living, they will start living, they will start living. So you want to claim their property when they leave. That's what your, some of you want to do. Okay? Before you know it, they will start living. They will leave. So it's quite unfortunate that up till now, since after the election, the Yorubas and the Baba Jesus Olu and Tinubu have not been able to stop this systematic attack on the Igbos and non-Yorubas in Lagos. They have not found it necessary to start intervening. So me that this is a a a, a systemic racism um, and uh, ethnic bigotry that is haunting the Igbos in Lagos. They don't want Igbos to breed in Lagos. They want Igbos to leave their property behind so that they can claim it. That is what they want to do. Hmm. Will this will they succeed in doing this? I I I think I think not because what they are planting is going to be very very bad. What they are planting is going to be very very bad. What they are planting is going to be very very bad for them. Quite unfortunate. So this thing that Igbos have started doing, let them know that there are Yorubas in so many other parts of uh, of Nigeria. Moreover, Lagos is not giving the Yorubas bad name because it is not happening in Ogun or your Oshuikiti. It's not happening there or Undo. It's not happening. It's only happening in Lagos. And Lagos people, we know they put a concern it. They are the APC uh, Yorubas, not all the Yoruba people. Like I said, this is, this thing is not happening in other Yoruba states. It's only um, this Lagos state that this thing is happening and it's very, very bad. It's a very bad trend. I must tell you the truth. They want people to leave and then they can claim the properties back. They are using system to recover most of the properties that they already sold. This is bad. This is terribly bad. This is terribly bad. Quite an unfortunate situation. Okay, I think the Igbo should leave them. People should begin to think homes. People should begin to find a way to duplicate their businesses out of Lagos. Make your savings, sell out what you have, and go to somewhere that is safe. That is how it's supposed to be. You don't have to die in another person's land. It is their land, it is their land. Let them take. Leave them and get out. That is it. Who, what must be, must be. What you did to progress in Lagos, you can see do it to progress in other states. Leave Lagos. I know that the problem with Lagos is because of that seaport and the international airport that goods can use to come in. But if other governors from Southeast are reasonable, they can also start getting goods into their airport using a, you know, using using the using the flight system. Quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. All right, so thank you for listening. And let's have a comment. Your comment, Hannes and Deep Blue has asked our people to start coming back home.